Good morning traders and welcome to this week's weekly market analysis Monday the 8th of April. Uh, before we get stuck into the charts a little bit of data coming out also don't forget we've had daylight savings so just make adjustments on times um, for news announcements and that so forth um, but the highlights for this week we have the New Zealand um, interest rates decision uh, due out on Wednesday also from Europe interest rates decision is uh, due out on a Thursday and take a look just over here um, all the other major events for this week so you make sure that you don't get caught up into any trades that you don't want to be caught up with with major data all right let's kick off and let's uh, start off with our own Aussie dollar looking at uh, the Aussie US dollar here uh, this particular chart look we've been in this converging trend for a very long time now and lately we've just been trapped inside this region and we are kind of ranging so I'm going to start to zoom in a bit closer to, and I'm looking to see if I can find trading opportunities um, within this area here of course if this should break out and kick off towards this top line as I've got my marker over here yes I'm interested in trading back down the channel and also if it should kick down towards the bottom side of that uh, converging uh, um, triangle yes I would also be interested in trading back towards the center okay um, but in the meantime until that happens uh, we are kind of stuck in this area so let me just drop down a time zone to a four hour time zone let me just zoom it out a little bit so I can see it a bit better see there was already an opportunity there it's like a triple top kind of situation and the markets this is a reversal signal this three candle pattern here one two three there and the markets basically shooting down off that so we're looking for those types of things at the moment as I've done this this is the first time that I've done it um, looking at it live with you there's nothing there at this particular moment but I'm going to be open to these opportunities as well so I'm going to leave that line in there I'm also going to draw another one down the bottom here and basically I'm just seeing if I can trade inside of this little mini trend uh, as things pop up right now there is nothing for me to do at this instance but I will leave these marks on my chart and um, that's what I'm looking for so just to summarize I'm looking I'm still looking for the outer extremes okay I'm looking for these types of trades if the market gets there but now I'm also uh, open to the idea of trading inside the more mini um, converging triangle as it is such a large zone okay so there you have it that is my Aussie US for this week let's move along have a look at the Euro USD let me zoom out quickly see what um, okay so with this particular one I'm still holding my top line here okay and if the market should go towards there again I am interested in taking that type of trade all right um, but what I've also done as an interim I've marked out a second line here over here and I'm interested to see the market gets towards this level if there may be an opportunity to trade in this direction as you can see right now we are smack in the middle so there's nothing I can really do right now however I am trying to squeeze into uh, this particular chart and try and find trading opportunities um, sometimes uh, what you can do is as we look at these smaller patterns inside a bigger pattern we can drop down a time division so from a daily to a four hour chart and really look inside it to see if we can get a trigger based off a four hour candle okay at the moment I'll leave it on my daily uh, and as we approach either one of those two lines that I've got marked up here or up here or down here then I'll become interested in the possibility of finding a trade there all right let's move along let's have a look at the US yen okay US yen let me just zoom out a little bit of the US yen let me just jump to a weekly chart for a moment okay so that level here there's history on this particular level the market came to that level August 20 August 22 so that's two years ago it came there again shot down and we are there right now um, and that I want a weekly chart right now so let me just jump over to a daily chart 
Okay, and let me just zoom in a little bit just to exaggerate it. All right, we can see the market is fighting. So that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it's really nearly about two and a half weeks the market has been in that range and has not shot through it yet and has not bounced back yet either. So the market is indecisive, okay? As it pushes to drive forward, the sellers come back. So the sell there's a balance between buyers and sellers. So what I would like to do with this one, let me just zoom out again. I get the feeling that we will break through, all right? Um, but what I would like to see is wait for the breakthrough to happen. Then as we pull back towards this region, say something in this region that I've marked there as an example, then at that point I would be interested in becoming a buyer and in continuation of that trend. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. All right, so there's been so much congestion there, so nothing clear has jumped out to say sell right now. So we will just monitor and let's see if we break through um, or we could get like a really strong sell signal but we don't have it as yet okay so there you have it that's the US yen for this week all right let's uh, move along let's have a look at the GBP USD and again let me zoom out so I can see the bigger picture okay I can see all right uh, that line you saw that I've got it marked out and I've got this region marked out just in case it comes down to that level so that we can shoot up and trade upwards. We are quite far from that level at the moment. We are nearly 300 pips away um, and the market seems to be stuck in this kind of zone. So what I want to do, let me just mark out another region here. I'm just going to try and mark out a level there and let's see if the market comes to that level if it shows me a strong signal of um, turning around or rejection or reversal sorry is the word I'm looking for then I might become a buyer in that one okay um, but having just said that it looks more likely to me that it will come through that level then if we get a bit of a bounce back, we'll look for the level there and try to trade back down in, see this is a little mini trend, that would be a little mini trend. So trade in that direction, heading towards this level here. Look, let's see how it plays out, but those are the two possibilities. And it's not, I'm not hedging my bets, I'm not trying to be correct in this particular market. I'm just looking to see what formation happens next and whichever one does happen, I'm looking for the one with the highest probability. That's it. Uh, it's not about being right, it's not about being wrong, it's about finding the highest probability setup and that's what we're looking for. Okay, So keep that in mind and that's, those are my thoughts for the GBP USD this week. Oil, WTI. Okay, oil is now, this is a, a nice trend through there, we can see that we are in a uptrending okay so what we are looking for is the opportunity to buy as the market dips down and if I zoom in a little bit so I can make the candles a little bit bigger you can see here this very nice inside candle set so it pushed up pulled back and there's your signal and it kicked off so what we're looking for is those types of formations again so we're looking for a little pullback if it, and when it does pull back, then I'm looking for um, an inside candle type uh, pattern, like that for example, if I draw it in, and then on the break, kick up and continue in the direction of the trend. So we're trying to ride the trend here, we're just looking for dips, um, where the market dips down and it shows us reversal at the end of the dip for the trigger to buy in and continue in the direction of the trend. Okay. So that's WTI, that's what we're looking for. And finally, the last one for the week, we are looking at gold. Okay, gold again is one of those markets. Let me just look at a weekly chart, I just want to see. Okay, so we're definitely into new territory. Okay, the last highs, which were in 2020, 
over here. Now, I, I can't go further back, but this is as far back as I want to go. We've broken all those highs, so we're in definitely, definitely into new territory at the moment. So what the only thing that we can do at this particular stage is, let me just go back to a daily, is look for buying opportunities into dips, just the same as we looked at uh, in WTI. So if the market pulls down, shows me a, a reversal candle pattern in the way of an inside candle, for example, then that could be our trigger to become a buyer and continue to buy into this market in the direction of the trend. Okay, so there you have it. Those are my thoughts on uh, gold. Um, but uh, keep an eye on them. Let's see how they form. If something does set up, I will screenshot it and send it out. Uh, I'll send a, a, a message on X um, and, and just take a look at that one. Okay. All right. That pretty much wraps up for this morning, guys. Again, take a look at the charts, the important data that is due out this week. The highlights as a recap was New Zealand interest rates, uh, European interest rates. We also have in the core CPI data from the US. Take a look um, and make sure that uh, you don't get caught up into any trades that you don't want to uh, get caught up in. Again, those times are in Sydney time, so I've already converted for you for your convenience. Um, that pretty much wraps up for this morning. Have a great trading week and I'll speak to you next week for the weekly market analysis. Bye for now.